Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in our last video we put this one page scrolling web website together in about 20 minutes using the Divi theme and using some of the templates that they've got. I had a question, somebody said how do you add a new page if you wanted to add a second page to this site? Well it's really easy so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go up to new, I'm going to add a new page. I'll call it about about me I guess as it's a portfolio site and I'm going to use the Divi Builder again I'm going to use a pre-made layout again one of the templates for expediency and last time we searched for a resume And there it is, that's the actual one we used there. And let's grab the about page and we'll use that. I'm going to say use this layout. And there we go, it's loaded this layout for us. And it's the same as the other one. It enable your visual builder and you can edit any of these, just put in what a whatever text you want to put in here and edit the images the same as the last video if you're not sure just have a look at that last video I'm going to go ahead and publish this page now that it's published if we have a look at our pages and refresh the page it should be in there there it is about me I'm just gonna right click on where it says view there I'm gonna go copy link I'm going to go down to my appearance, down to menus, and there you can see the page is already there. So I'm going to add that to the menu, put it up there. And you may be asking, well, why did I copy the link? Well, let's just say this menu. I copied the link because we're going to go back into the front page and add that link to one of the buttons as well as an alternative way to get to it and as you can see it's been updated while we're in here I may as well add our front page our home page the main page to the menu which is res so I'm just add that to the menu now we've got more pages makes sense to have a home page I'm gonna hit the drop down now it's added it to the page and I'm gonna just call it home and let's save our menu again so let's make sure all the changes are saved on this page. Hit the little purple button, save the page changes, and exit the Visual Builder. Now we can go back to the home page, and let's enable the Visual Builder, and we'll put a link to our About Me page, perhaps View My Reel, let's put it there, just to show you how you can do that. So let's enable Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work, which is this little button right here. I'm going to click on the little cog to edit it. And let's just change the title to About Me. And the link pasting that link that I copied from our page earlier on. There it is. You can actually chop off the first bit if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there. And of course we want it to open in the same window as it's the same site. Now let's save our changes here. And exit the Visual Builder. One more thing I'd like to do. I'm not happy with our link color up here that's the active link the page that we're on so let's go ahead and change that while we're in here so if we go to our dashboard down to Divi customize and we'll go into header and navigation primary menu because this is our primary menu 
and here is our active link color I think I'll change that to perhaps this orange color I've got a color picker right here a little free add-on from Google Chrome so I'm going to copy that so we've got that orange color close that up click on the select color I'm going to paste my hex code in there there we go so now my active link matches my site so we're good to go let's go ahead and publish that now we've published let's go back to our original page and refresh and now our link matches the rest of our site here color wise and let's just check our little link about me make sure it's going to work here yep that's absolutely fantastic and then back to the home page so there we are that's how easy it is to add an extra page to your one page scrolling site you may decide to put your about me link at the end there because all of our other links are going to scroll us down to our regular page here and if they click on that one it's going to take them to a new page so it might be an idea to put that after your contact but that's entirely up to you so there you have it i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day